good morning in the previous session we discussed about the mining complex data type the complex data types are mining sequence data type uh, in the sequence data type same time series data type biological sequence data type symbolic data type now you are going to know about the other kind of complex data type other kind of complex data types are spatial data type text data multimedia data web data these are all other kinds of data that means how can you perform in the mining techniques on this data type the first important one here is a how can you perform in the mining techniques on spatial data here first you have to know about the spatial data the spatial data is maybe a map related data for example sensors there some of the rip are map map produces a some kind of data that kind of data you call as a spatial data here mining the spatial multimedia text web mining advanced data intensive applications are there here those are all maybe a scientific engineering design with challenges here most amount of data are stored in the complex form that means such as a structured or unstructured uh, structured in the sense some of the form data uh, table format of data unstructured format of data video audio files and in some of the complex data hypertext data multimedia data mining the complex data complex type of data includes the object object data spatial data and then multimedia data text data has become a, an important task in a data mining that means previously for from the uh, some of the information related to the simple or structured data mining now you are going to perform in some unstructured or semi structured data mining techniques here these are all different techniques now you are going to know about the spatial data mining here what is a spatial data mining which type of data you called as a spatial data the spatial data may be map related data processed remote sensing data medical imaging data vlsa chip layout data this kind of data you called as a spatial data here what is a spatial data mining here process of discovering the useful pattern the pattern here is a knowledge for example the population data is there for example india population data india population data 120 crores of people are there is that means among i don't need all data i need only my data only that's called here pattern here that means discovering the useful pattern from a large spatial data sets large spatial data set data sets may be map related data at the map related data sets then then remote sensing data sets from the remote sensing data set or map related data sets you will retrieve the useful knowledge that's called here spatial data mining here any spatial database stores a large amount of space related data that is a large amount of space related data and then where are using this one bsa nasa also uses a, the space data mining techniques isro also uses a space data mining technique radar data it's these are all these are all some of the information some of the techniques the spatial mining consists of the spatial data cube the first you have to construction the construct the data warehouse space data cube construction and spatial olap that means you are going to constructing the data warehouse after that you are performing the the first one is a, a indicates the construction of data warehousing and then b c d e indicates the mining techniques various mining techniques the spatial association and co collocation pattern and then spatial clustering methods spatial classification and spatial trend analysis mining the raster databases these are all some of the techniques that means entire database first you have to construct the database for the spatial data after that retrieving the data from the uh, this data by applying these uh, spatial association clustering classification and then mining the raster databases this technique the first important one here is a spatial data cube 
here the the construction the spatial data queue construction and the spatial oaab what is a data queue for doing that one you have a large amount of spatial data is there here from the large amount of spatial data you have to constructing the data warehouse here data warehouse is a subject oriented integrated time variant non volatile data here data warehouse depends upon a different subjects and then you have to various sources of data is there you have to integrating the various sources of data and then time variant the data warehouse stores the previous that means historical data and then non volatile once store the that information in the data warehouse you cannot change the collection of spatial and non spatial data mining related decision making that is called here data mining here you have to know about the what is a data cube that means what is how can you constructing the data cube here for constructing the data cube here the data cube the data warehousing the data warehousing always based on a multi dimensional data model that means you have a n dimensional data sir which view the data in the form of data cube the data cube consists of a different uh, tables that means dimension tables are there for and then fact tables are there here in the data cube here that is called here multi dimensional data here when data is grouped or combined together in the form of multi dimensional matrices is called data cubes here data queue such as a sales allows to be model and view in the multi dimensional here dimension tables are there in the data queue fact tables here how can you represent the dimension table here for example that a fact table is um, consists of central theme dimension table consists of attributes attributes of the table for example item table item name item our uh, type item brand and then time uh, dimension table but uh, fact table consists of central theme it consists of keys of the dimensional table and then measures different measures for the table that is called here dimensional table here if you see the diagram here indicates the multi dimensional cube here you have a three dimensions are there here what are the three dimension time is a one dimension product is another dimension region is another dimension here the relational data table converted into multi dimensional queue like this this is a information if you need multi dimensional model view as a queue the queue consists of three dimensions here if you want to represent the more than three dimensions here you will use a lattices that means you previously discussed that one here is that means an n dimensional base cube is called base cuboid here it indicates the base cuboid n dimensional for example i am taking the four dimensional base cube and then top zero dimensional cuboid which is called it as a apex cuboid after that one dimensional cuboid two dimensional cuboid three dimensional cuboid and then four dimensional if you want to represent more than one dimension that is represented by using that is that means in this way you will constructing the data queue that means the for this spatial data also you will constructing the data queue in this way and then what is a challenge here the integration of the what is the important challenge in this case the integration of spatial data from the sources how can you integrate that means you are getting the large amount of data from the various sources of spatial data sources that means how can you integrate the data and then another challenge here is a, a realization of fast and flexible online analytical processing in a spatial, spatial data warehouse for example star schema that means the realization here what is a star, star schema how can you represent a star schema here this is a star schema here this schema is consist of sales table fact table as well as the dimension table here what is a star schema the star schema also known as a, a star join schema here it is a simple style of the data warehouse schema here the entity is maintains a, a it is a star schema why because 
entity relationship diagram of this schema uh, having the resembles a star with the points of uh, radian from the central table that means this is a star schema here the star query is a join between a fact table and a number of dimension table here in this case you have a dimensional table you have a sales table is there the sales table always consists of all keys for the dimension for example time the time related key and then item item related key and then branch that means the primary keys of all related uh, dimensional table and then not only that keys here it consists of some of the measures for that table that is a simple representation for about the different challenges and then dimension types spatial dimensions and then spatial spatial to non spatial dimensions and then spatial to spatial dimension these are all different dimension tables and then measures numeric measures spatial measures also you are considering and then another important one here is a mining the association here what is a mining the association and co-location here what is an association how can you represent this particular association association is a that means association always represented a implies b associations are the rules association rules are consist of finding the frequent item first and then after that you have after finding the aso frequent item after that you will defining the different association rules here this particular association rules are the association rules always in the form a imply b here a implies b these rules satisfy the minimum confidence threshold value here based on the confidence value you will identify the these particular rules that means a pre specified probability of satisfying b under the condition that a a is satisfied that is called here a implies b here some of the it is a simple of the expression x implies y uh, x and y are the uh, spatial data uh, items spatial data items for example simple data items milk comma diaper implies beer that's called here strong association rule satisfy the both minimum sub, minimum support as well as the confidence value here the confidence for this one equal to this is a confidence value the association rules can be generated as follows for each frequent item set l generate a non empty set of l for every empty set here this is a form these are all different association rules a comma i1 comma i2 implies i5 if this is a one of the association rule that means in this way you will generating the different association rules here in the spatial data mining also you will generating the association rule the 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 association rule is in the form a implies b here s yes percentage c percentage that means the support confidence percentage for example is a x school close to x support center implies close to x park that means percentage support percentage 50 percentage and then confidence percentage 80 percentage that is a different rule it is a progressive refinement and then superset coverage property and then that, that is a association mining that means what is the main intention of association mining whether the particular customer buying the product or not for that for purpose you are using the association mining and then spatial clustering clustering in the sense identifying the clusters cluster some group group that means region based on a distance in a large dimensional set the cluster in the sense grouping the data based on the similarity that means similarity euclidean distance used to identify the similarity based on its similarity you will identify in the cluster you have a different types of clustering methods are there hierarchical clustering methods density based clustering method mm, like that so many other here these are different example k means algorithm bridge db scan 
dimensionality reduction and then string these are all different algorithms for the clustering of the spatial data mining and then classification that means classification in the sense classifying the data that means for forming the grouping the data based on the class labels that means you are going to free defined class labels are there based on the free defined class label you will perform the classification the analysis spatial object to derive a classification scheme in a relevance to certain space properties such as a neighborhood distance that means the trend analysis for the classification uh, detection of changes trends along the spatial dimension that means uh, regression and the correlation regression that means uh, identifying the for example um, age based on a salary that means if you give the particular age person that means based on the data set you will identify the um, salary that means independent uh, and then here you have a independent variables are there dependent variables are there that is a regression based on independent and dependent variables we will identifying the dependent variable value that is a regression we have a linear regression multi that means if you are using the two attributes linear regression more than two attributes uh, multi multiple linear regression and then correlation the relationship between the two or more attributes we will identify the correlation the temporal pattern in a time series data space time the spatial temporal mining that is a clustering in a spatial temporal mining next one mining the raster scan databases handles of vector data data text consists of points lines raster scan data always consists of points lines and their composition like a network and partition that means how we are mining this type of data also that means digital images satellite images remote sensing data this is a some information regarding the mining spatial next we will discuss about the multimedia data mining